Hello everyone, it's Mary Polanco stopping in to share this super fun card with you today. I decided to go big or go home, so we're making a 5x7 card using some awesome stuff from scrapbook.com. So the first thing that I'm going to pull out here is this new oak leaves stencil for my background. I am going to use some watercolor cardstock because I'm going to mix some pops of color with some Alta New embossing paste to get multiple colors to put on and get a good consistency for my stenciling. So you can use the pops of color by themselves uh, to stencil on uh, to your project. However, I do like to change up the consistency just a little bit. And I love that when you add your pops of color to this white embossing paste, it really does not lighten the color up very much. So I know with other products I've used, it sort of changes it. For example, um, that pink may become, or that red may become a pink, where with this, it stays a vibrant red. I'm going to take my application tool. I decided to use this smaller one just because I was using multiple colors. I didn't want to have to, or I couldn't go all the way across the entire project. So I'm going to use this small one, and it doesn't matter if you overlap with your colors. That's kind of the point here because fall leaves really have that multicolored look to them. And so that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just mixing it up and I'm getting a nice consistency. I probably could have even used a little bit more of the uh, white embossing paste um, just to get more product, but um, here I am adding the last color, and I even mixed some of that, made sure to mix some of that yellow to get sort of an orange hue. And then I am just wiping all over this project. It looks like a hot mess right now, but that's okay, because we are going to do the big reveal, and we're gonna show you what this looks like. So now we have multicolored fall leaves for this background using your pops of color. So you can use your products for multiple things. I'm gonna add a little bit of loose glitter while it's wet, and that's just gonna add a nice little sparkle to it. Beware that loose glitter will come off. So once this is dry, you wanna shake it and tap it really well. Now I wanted to find a sentiment that would work for this project, a big sentiment. Now I pulled out my family pocket cards, and by the way, I'm not using all of these, but this color theme for this pocket card, oh my goodness, it's just singing to me. Now I'm gonna take my family is forever pocket card and I'm gonna use that for my sentiment. I thought it was covering up my background too much, so we're gonna fix that. My mixed metals glitter paper here is going to add that super fun glittery accent right behind my sentiment. So I'm gonna pull that out and again, I just feel like it's a little bit too plain and it is taking up too much space. So I took a risk and I fussy cut around the letters on the top. So I kept it straight and narrow on the bottom, but I did what I call bubble cutting right around the letters to make it look like it was die cut. That was risky, but I thought it came out looking really good in the end. Now the second risk I took was adding some of this Distress Oxide around the edging of the letters. At first when I was doing it, I was not happy with it, but you're gonna see when I add my final embellishment, it actually gives a really cool effect. So I'm glad that I did this. And then at the very end, I kind of just wipe my brush all the way over it so that it kind of doesn't have too much of a stark white. Now because I cut down My Family Is Forever quite a bit, I'm gonna cut down the Mixed Metals Glitter paper as well. I'm loving this paper, it's thin, it's really easy to work with, and you can die cut it really, really nicely. Taking out some of my double adhesive scrapbook.com um, tape, I am going to just pull some twine from my stash and I'm gonna wrap it around. There's something about twine that screams fall, and so I wanted to make sure that that was part of the staple on this background. It doesn't cover up the images, it just adds something really nicely. So I'm just gonna do that in kind of a haphazard way, back and forth, crisscrossing, um, just making it look sort of organic and nothing too perfect. So I get that done, and I'm just gonna do the end again with some of the tape, and then we'll start putting this card together. So I'm gonna be using the double-sided adhesive foam tape here. I cut it a little short right here because I was going at an angle, so I was gonna overlap. So I'm just getting all of the different sizes of the foam tape that fit, 
and cutting it down. I want a flat surface for this because if I send this through the mail, I don't want any issues with bending. More double-sided adhesive on the back of this. This stuff is super, super strong. So I know that it's gonna stay to my card base very well. And so that's why I opted for this kind. I'm gonna peel off the backing here and then we are going to place it down on a cream color five by seven card base. So I think the card base is just a quarter of an inch bigger around so that I can make it fit. And then I am going to put down all, or put down my sentiment here and press that down so that it adheres. Now the final touch for this is I am pulling out my gold glitter pops of color. I am gonna outline the entire sentiment with it. So I just skipped right over that, but they write so well. They're like little glitter markers. And I loved this accent. It almost looks like an ombre where the top of the family word is. And then in the spirit of I overdo everything, <laughs> I just took those pops of color and put dots everywhere. Pops of color, I will scream from the rooftops, are my absolute favorite. They come out in circular shape. They're perfect. They're so easy to work with and they dry super hard. So I'm a huge fan. Okay, that'll do it for this card. Thank you so much for stopping by. All the items I used for the video will be listed below in the description, so you can check that out. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you don't miss more from scrapbook.com. Bye-bye.